What's up, Mollyverse? Dr. Dave and the Professor here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. What have we got on today's video, brother? On today's video, we're looking at the 1-6 scale arena suit Boba Fett from Hot Toys. Here we go then, guys. Hot Toys CMS 011. We said, was it Comic Master Series it says on the back? Yeah, that's right. That's what the CMS stands for. So that's obviously this is from a comic series as opposed to a TV and movie series yeah, character. Yeah, Boba Fett, the arena suit, I think it said, right? Yep, arena suit down there. We've actually got a Hot Toys exclusive sticker in the corner. Didn't you, you said you found a like, comment about this or something? Yeah, I saw something recently that suggests, because yeah, I'd always been unsure what the difference was between, like, it's a Hot Toys product, so what makes it a Hot Toys exclusive? Yeah, I, I assumed it was just like Fungo Shop, like a Fungo Shop exclusive you can only get on the Fungo shop, like mm. nowhere else. Whereas it, it kind of seems more like it that denotes maybe the market it came from. So if it was a sideshow exclusive, it came from the North American market. Where it's a Hot Toys exclusive, it was probably probably came from the Asian market. And as usual, here we have the art insert with Boba Fett looking pretty cool there. Yeah, all these kind of sparks, maybe flames. I'm not sure. I guess like, well, it's an arena, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of big arena. Yeah, Bounty kind of... Hunter duel. Battle thing, Gladiator. They should have called it like Gladiator Boba Fett instead of Arena Suit Boba Fett. And then under the insert, we of course have the figure itself with all of the accessories. But as usual, guys, we'll take everything out the box and then take closer looks at each piece. So here we go then, guys, the figure and all the accessories out the box. But as always, we will start with the base. Pretty different to what we've shown off recently. Uh, this round base here, Star Wars Boba Fett. I guess it's like an arena style base right yeah i guess so yes yeah, like coliseum style in in the sand yeah maybe and um you were telling me about these earlier today actually we, like the different styles of like, yeah I, I think this is the, the kind of older style that, that holds the figure around the waist as opposed yeah. to the the newer ones that kind of sits on the crotch the crotch of yeah the figure. Yeah, definitely. I, I think one of the ones we've shown off before, whether it was like Qui-Gon or Darth Maul, I think had this style rather than like the crotch one. But um, yeah, it's very basic, but I think still pretty decent. Kind of goes with the figure. As I said, a kind of Colosseum style sand base. Maybe they could have had a little bit of blood in there or something, but I guess this is Star Wars, right? We're not really talking anything R-rated. So the white gloves broken out for the black hands, just to give a better contrast so you guys can see them more, but what can you really say about hand moulds? They're pretty much there just for the poses to hold the accessories, etc, etc. But yeah, we've got eight of them, which I think is more than the figures we've shown off recently, I think, right? Yeah, I think normally, I think all the recent ones we've had, like six plus the two that are on the figure, so... Yeah, that's the thing, so it's actually ten in total. Mm. And here we have some additional accessories. These are referred to as tools in the instruction manual, but it will be a... We'll have a look and see where these go on the figure once we uh, get the poses up. Yeah, I thought they kind of went together when I first saw them, but... Uh, what, you mean, like, assemble them as a Yeah, as a I thought piece. it was like a sword or something, or a dagger or whatever, but, uh, but yeah, it does just literally say tools in the uh, in the instructions. Yeah, I would imagine they just fit into his suit or the embraces somewhere. He also comes with two blaster pistols. As with everything in this set, all painted black. There's no real other detail on either side, though. There is, of course, more detail on Boba Fett's iconic blaster rifle. Yeah, some nice, I don't know inscription whatever that term is on the butt and uh yeah scope there so look at the reverse the reverse sides because yeah it's slightly different isn't it yeah i think pretty cool and the last of his weapons is this halbeard i think that's what it's called isn't it halbeard? yeah halbeard. i think that's how they're pronounced something like that some nice kind of scratched sort of used detail on it looks very badass very kind of sinister with that spike at the bottom there as well you know i think very very cool accessory very fitting for a sort of gladiator arena style setting and the last accessory is of course boba fett's jetpack again painted black yeah it's kind of like the music the theme for this uh for this figure i think right yeah exactly but yeah, we noticed earlier this is a bit different to the to the newer yeah. newer sets where it's not magnetic. It looks like it actually clips on there. Yeah, two little clips almost, right? So I guess it will just sit onto the back. But yeah, other other than that, it's a pretty cool piece. And last but not least, we have the figure itself. I did say paint it black, as you guys can see. Boba Fett dressed all in black, black helmet, black 
armor, black, everything, right? Even the, uh, what are these things like? Wookie? Yeah, like the braids. From braids, the, is that what it, yeah. the side of the armor. Even they're all black. Van Brace is black. Um, yeah, I mean, I could keep saying black. You guys can see for yourselves here, even though some of it looks a bit silvery, I guess, but that is just the reflection of the light. Um, yeah, I still think very, very cool. There's some nice detail on it. If we want to like swing it round as well, so we can just show you guys the back. It does, of course, come with his... I don't know. Is, is his cape really iconic? It's yeah, I'm just not a cape sure. Kind of yeah. But it does have the... Uh, what do you call that? Is it like wire mesh? Or yeah, it's wire? got like a wire in the thing, so it's poseable. Yeah. But yeah, it's quite a quite a nice feature. So, but yeah, on the back it's fairly uh, fairly plain. Yeah. There's a piece there. The only piece that's possibly yeah, that's not thing, black right? on the it, entire suit. It kind suit. of looks brown here in the light, but maybe like looks like it slightly painted. Maybe they just kind of missed that. I don't know. And uh, I guess that's the two bits where it clips for the uh, jetpack. I was about to say backpack there, but um, yeah, I, I think it still looks pretty cool, pretty sinister sort of version of Boba Fett but the uh the only way to truly enjoy any of these hot toys is is to get them in multiple poses and let's just see how badass he is We go guys a pretty cool figure pretty badass looking figure but i don't know contrast maybe that's a good word like like there's not enough contrast for me i guess, I guess. too much of one color yeah yeah so i suppose it works for darth vader but maybe not every character in the universe yeah no like i said it's still really cool how big rifle uh jetpack cape like like it still looks cool like i said it looks badass but i don't know too much of of one color that's mm. my opinion yours no, I, I, I really like the figure, but yeah, as you say, it, it is a, a single colour. We've seen before the, the kind of all-white prototype yeah. over third. But yeah, I think it, it could have done with maybe just some, some differing colours, maybe a bit of chrome somewhere yeah. to, to liven it up. Not too much, not like the Mandalorian, but maybe yeah, just yeah. a touch here and there. I think but, like more, it could have been a bit more weathered, a bit more tattered maybe. Mm. Obviously, yeah, the cape's tattered and there is some marks and whatnot. Or on even the, having the, the suit kind of... Yeah, yeah that would, like it would maybe good. would have just made it pop a little bit more for mm. me. That, that's a good word, would have made it pop. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So first of all, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with us here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And we hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. What do you guys think of this figure? And as always, we have plenty more Star Wars content on the way for you guys. As we said before, we're going to be looking at a bunch of Mandalorian in hot toys in the lead up to and during season three when it starts airing March 1st. What else? We have Star Wars celebrations and just tons more Star Wars stuff to show off. Some 
make sure you stay tuned for all of it and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned, you ask? It's very simple. Subscribe. Hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.